So I'm going to go to the post box, drop something off, and I feel a little bit better. I'm still not standing up straight, it's still really hurting across here, but it's feeling a lot better. It being home, obviously having all my normal supplements and, and the nutrient dense food that I'd normally eat has just made me feel way better from one day to the next. And obviously it does get better each day. So now it's more so waiting for these stitches to dissolve and I'll probably have pretty much full movement back with, with pretty, pretty minimal pain at that point. So it's just, I say, still very restricted. It's still quite hard to walk, but I can walk a little bit faster. As we shall see. And I can walk to post office and feel well enough to. I'm still sort of hunched. A bit of bad posture. It's as fast as I can go, you know. But it's faster. It's uncomfortable, it's still really hurting, but, but I can move around and I could drive this. So this is as fast as I can walk right now, and it's got faster today. But this is about it. So Michael managed to move around like an 80-year-old man, pumps over. You guys can do with, do with me. So I've just took my corset off to adjust it and looked in the mirror and I was like, I, I knew the inflammation had gone down a lot today. This is what I said, obviously, the, the supplements I'm using are not what a normal person would use and the food I, I would normally eat is not a normal person's diet. It is a, it's a sort of an athlete's diet. So it's, it's full of nutrient dense food. I've come home and I've took a lot of things that help, uh, that help rid the body of inflammation water being through the roof for start so they, when they see someone drink a lot of water most people would then be having two two liters maybe because that to most people is a lot a lot to me is more like six to eight liters so that's a big difference you know they gave me these vitamin c capsules which have 200 milligrams of vitamin c per two capsules yeah but then i take vitamin c powder a few times a day so i've been having two grams of that instead of 200 milligrams so 10 times a few times a day so all these things are just way higher than they would be for, for what most people would be doing in recovery. So as a result, pulled it off and gone, fucking hell, you can actually, eat. it's gone from really inflamed, probably wouldn't be able to see my abs for a long time, to, well, I'm actually starting to see my abs again. And I can feel the sensations almost come back here, all here. He is starting to already. You can see it's still quite swollen on the bottom because the, the course has been sat a lot higher. This is what I want to play and stuff, it's very uncomfortable being low and it's still kind of hurting on the incision. But it's come down loads and at the back, here. It's starting to get the sensation in the back as well. But that obviously was quite bad before and it's not so bad now. So, tilt up. So, no, that had a hat on. It's definitely changing, so I'm going to get this corset on now. I might even put a smaller one on because a smaller one he said after 15 days. Well, it's, it's now, but then this is going like really, really tight Com compared to where they put it on the first day, which was just fastened, and now it's sort of going like a good 10 centimeters further. It shows how much has come down. And so, I'm saying if, if you really work on this recovery process, like I'm not someone who's going to do as, as little as possible in terms of movement, I'll do as much as possible. So, the more I can move, and it's generally moving around and just picking stuff up because he was saying bending's fine. I don't get, I'll get my ass to the ground and pick stuff up then. I've just been putting washing away and stuff like that because that's still leaning over. I'm not moving excessively but moving a bit. Well, moving is going to allow everything to move around and allow this fluid to clear faster, allow the sensation to come back faster and help speed that recovery process, which I will be all want as fast as possible. Who never wants to be lying in bed for a long time? So, this is a better way to go about it. So just sitting there feeling sorry for yourself, as soon as you're well enough to start moving, move as much as you can, manage the pain, and then just, just get on with the day, which is what I'm doing now. So obviously, now I'm going to sit in the computer, do some work, and then go for a little walk later on, and just get as much walking as I can. Because I'm someone who normally walks a lot, I usually do like 20,000 steps a day, so me not moving is a bit alien to me, so I'm trying to move a lot, whereas some people, that would be a, a conscious effort to try and move to, to help recovery, because they don't move much normally. So it's just something that is obviously quite quite relevant to his recovery process. So I'd like to drop it in there. Let's see how it goes tomorrow. I actually want to do the progress pictures tomorrow, but I'll do a proper progress tomorrow, as in like my quarter turn, to see 
before and then one week post, because it'll be one week tomorrow. One week post surgery. And why am I anything over the top of my vest today as well? This is actually quite comfortable. So it started to really irritate me, it's getting tighter and tighter. Um, they said the other one I need to wear in 15 days is a tighter one. I don't know what everyone else is doing, but that's getting pretty tight now. So, so it started off, fastened just like onto the edge. It's come all this way past. So that's getting tighter and tighter. I can feel that I've gone down because I'm almost out, back down to normal size. And it was really inflamed and obviously I couldn't move at all. And I've been able to move a lot better. So one week post, well, as of this evening, and I feel a hell of a lot better. So, as I just put it over the top, because the hair has grown back, which I'd obviously freshly shaved beforehand, and then it was getting really, really itchy. So, for any guys out there, if you're a hairy guy, probably the same kind of situation, this is going to be itchy as shit. It actually really helps wearing it over the top. Normally, that would feel quite restrictive, but this top's quite loose anyway. And because I can't do a full movement anyway, because it's restricted from the bottom, it... I'm already restricted, so it doesn't really make much difference. It actually made it way comfier to put it on. But I've had it on all night, and then I also have to, obviously, pants are here. So my pants are up because the incision is there. So we've got to wear this over the top to not put pressure on where it would normally be. And then the underwear is the same. I actually felt comfier when I flipped it round. The underwear, I was kind of turning the waistband under and trying to sit it here. And it was just constantly riding up and then obviously pressing on the incision and hurting. So that wasn't very nice. Uh, since I just put it over the top uh, and then put this like, underneath everything, it's just felt a lot more comfortable. Um, and like I said, the main thing that's obviously helped as well is swapping shitty paracetamol for tramadol. So instead of having like, I was having eight to 10, 500 milligram paracetamols a day. So having like a gram of paracetamol, I've had two. I had two tramadol when I got home, which was on the evening, on Wednesday evening. I had one yesterday morning, one yesterday evening, and then I've not even had one today. So it just showed, it's made a massive difference, which has then helped my stomach. My stomach was feeling really shit from having obviously still so many antibiotics and painkillers and just crap put in there. So now some full of all the supplements and healthy food, reducing the amount of painkillers because they were giving me like an anti-inflammatory as well, I got rid of that. So I've got some better anti-inflammatories of actual supplements which aren't going to fuck my stomach up. Got rid of the paracetamol, put in the tramadol, which is at a much lower dosage because it's a better painkiller. And then that's caused a lot less issues as well. So, and the pain's obviously going down here. So, we're in a fair place. Let's see how it looks, because I haven't seen today. <coughs> that was a little bit dramatic. <laughs> Definitely feel like it's going down though. And I've started to get the sensation back a lot. Oh, that's it, as soon as that's pressed on the incision. So I'm getting the sensation back a lot. Um, like, my, my, my whole torso was numb on the flight home on Wednesday. And then, no, that's definitely come down from yesterday. Because my abs are starting to come back. Or back through. So I'll take this off. Let's have a seat. I can't see from the back. You guys are going to have to see from the back. But this, this at the bottom definitely come down as well because obviously all the swelling was sat here. The back is still uh, open, the, the, the drain. So then that's still been draining. So the back's been going down easier than the front. So I to keep putting gauze on it over and over. So if you've got the incision here, running all the way back, and then you just put like tape over it for now. It's still very numb there. Up to, I can feel it from here up. But that's because that's the bit that's not been adjusted. Well, I say that, but my hernia scar was here. So yes, it has been adjusted. My hernia scar is now there. It's just like an inch lower. So that's where the numbness starts. And then all this, it's got feeling back now. I can scratch and feel it. The back, see from the side. And then from the back. You guys have to tell me because I cannot see, obviously. But hopefully that's better. So obviously the, the back was back was carrying a lot of fat, the front was mainly skin, and it's just because of the way it was distributed when I was younger. And we said we had two options. Just hurt that a little bit there. <laughs> um, hey, I can lean over now and it doesn't hang like it used to, so that's a fucking bonus. And I sat in the car, because one of the things I said about it was when I sat in the car, it's really uncomfortable, and that's why my seats always drop back really far. I can 
fully sit up straight now, and it's not like irritating with the skin. But the, the, he said I could do, which a girl had done, lipo, uh, sorry, to, uh, uh, sorry, skin incision all the way around to get rid of some skin. He said, but then the back, you're only getting rid of a small amount of skin, and then I can't bend. So I'm not to bend over, so then you wouldn't be able to move. So the girl had it done, and other people have had it done, they've been there two weeks. Like, yeah, you can't move, you're literally fucking stuck for two weeks, at least. So if this is going to be at least two weeks for a contempt team, I still can't straighten out, that's it. Like if you look, it's kind of just stopping and just pulling. Like in here, there's two stitches in there. They, they, they're going to dissolve. So they're the two main things stopping it. Obviously that's pulling around my belly button. So they're protecting that and protecting this. But they're the main things that are stopping it. And then there's a couple in the side, further on the side too. Which that one really fucking hurts. And that one really hurts. <laughs> but it's getting there, it's getting there. Uh, and hopefully I won't gain that much body fat back from not exercising or training. Still the 10,000 steps yesterday, so I feel a lot better and I can fucking move. But I'm still on the sofa. Can't sleep in the bed. Let me show you. So I'm on the damn sofa because you know, Ames had to sleep in the bed on her own. I tried getting in bed on the first night. I was like, no fucking way I can do this. Because bear in mind, we had a ginormous bed in the hotel and loads of pillows. Well, the bed here is, an, is, a, is a king size. It's not a ginormous, <laughs> whatever the hell that was in the hotel, so it doesn't fit. Uh, so this is me. This is me right now. <laughs> you can see I've got, obviously the, I've got to keep my head up, elevated, and then this so I can lean on it. So I can lean on the other side, and then this goes, my leg go over that, so it keeps my legs bent, keeps me in that, that hunched position. So it is a bit shit. But, it is what it is. For now, right, it's getting better. Hopefully, um, once I stand up straight, I can get in bed. But I'm actually pretty comfy on myself with all those pillows. It's quite nice. I didn't miss the hotel bed in that respect. It was a very, very comfortable bed. But I did feel like I was in a jail cell since coming home. I'm moving around and like, last night I went to well, the supermarket and stuff. Which is there, by the way, if anyone doesn't know. It's not, it's not far. <laughs> it's like there. But, I was like, right, let's go for a walk. Uh, so just like a short one, in fact, not like a, a mega one. So just just got outside 15 minutes to get moving some more. We did, did say in the morning because we went to the other side of the shopping precinct on that, so it's just a little bit further. And then, like I said, I got 10,000 steps, so that's a lot for me right now. It's not a lot for me normally. But then I was struggling, as we saw earlier, just to get across the hotel room with the fucking tubes in and stuff. And I was literally having to count like one. One, as I'm like walking the length of the room, and like five lengths was uh, was exhausted. Going to have breakfast exhausting. It's like three days ago, and now I'm I'm like on my feet, uh, doing doing stuff on house, working, and feel mentally sharp again to work, and not defeated. So, a huge huge difference coming into the, today, um, and like I say, it's just starting to get the feeling back. Inflammation is massive going down. I don't think I even need to put that belt back on. Put the other one on. But the belt is there to keep the inflammation from building up and to help it just flush out. So you've got to keep that pressure on really tight. So that's why it's supposed to be tight. That's why I said I may as well get the tight one now. But I have to open my top because it's damn hair. So there's an update. One week in. Let's see how things go over this next week. Check this. I went to Tesco and I walked faster. <laughs> definitely walked faster today. And when I took the stairs back down, and I was definitely faster on the stairs. And this sounds absolutely ridiculous me saying this, but <laughs> when literally, I mean, this was the, the room we had was slightly longer than this. And when I'm literally obviously on those old videos going with the tubes, and it was absolutely exhausting and such painful and hard work just to walk across the room like this and then I'm kind of standing a bit straighter and oh I can even fucking jog on the spot just about that hurts I feel fucking alive again it's weird though. obviously every day is going to get faster and faster in terms of recovery so hoping this is one week evening literally I was in the operating theatre this time last week last Friday so hoping by next Friday I'll be back training well camera's falling <laughs> we shall see. Stay there, you. 
we shall see what happens. So, like I say, progress though. Moving, for, moving around, definitely hurting a lot less. Took no pain medication today as well, which is a massive bonus because obviously that has a big effect on your internal system anyway. It's just fucking toxic and shit. Cut that out. My stomach feels a lot better because of it. I just haven't needed it. I've been uncomfortable-ish, but not in pain. Manageable. And obviously the pain, the painkillers are to be to manage the pain. If you can manage it without, you don't have them. Same with like the antibiotics. If everything's healed up, do you need to continue taking antibiotics for, for ages afterwards and causing further damage to your internal organs? And obviously your digestive tract, things like that, you destroy all the bacteria. Not necessarily. So, I'm feeling much better. Now, I'll turn this horrendous light off. Turn the mood lighting on.